The biggest lessons I've learned in my life are here. Through different topics, I'm going to inspire and motivate you to reach your success and your dreams. I'm so grateful that you are here with me on Journey to Success. So, let's enjoy my next episode together. What if doing less could actually make you more productive? Hi guys, my name is Fabio from Journey to Success and welcome. Today we're gonna talk about this uh, beautiful rule, peculiar rule, (laughs) and the name of the rule is the nothing rule. So what is it? What is the nothing rule? The nothing rule helps you make better decisions by supporting patients reducing stress, and uh, promoting a thoughtful reflection. But uh, before to go forward, please subscribe so I know this is the right direction to take, to drive you, to guide you, to lead you towards your journey to success. And uh, let's go forward. So the nothing rule uh, suggests uh, that sometimes the best course of action is to do nothing. So this approach can be beneficial in uh, several ways. Uh, Here we have uh, five uh, bullets and uh, I cannot wait to talk about it. First bullet, avoiding hasty decisions. So by not acting right away, you give yourself time to absorb, to get more information and consider all possible options because you are more calm. So this can prevent impulsive decisions that might lead to negative outcomes. First bullet. Then we have a second bullet, letting situations unfold. So you know some problems resolve themselves over time without intervention. That's the reality. So by doing nothing, guys, you allow the situation to develop naturally, which can often lead to better results. Mm? I remember there was this interview where a guy, I think, uh, I don't know, maybe in a customer service environment or anyway, he had to answer some question uh, in his job, uh, would proposally make people wait for their requests. He would say something like, yep, wait three days to see if the situation has been solved. If not, you can call us back. So he said, and I believe it, it worked 90% of the time. They never called back because the problem was already solved doing nothing. And I used uh, this method also in my previous role in uh, customer care as well. You know? So remember the second bullet. Number three, reducing stress. The pressure to act quickly can be stressful. So the nothing rule helps you stay patient and relaxed, making you feel better. Number three, then we have a a bullet for gaining clarity. So taking a step back and waiting can provide you with a clear perspective uh, on the situation. So this can lead to more thoughtful and uh, effective decisions. And then we have the last bullet, prioritizing actions. So Not all issues require immediate attention. So by practicing the nothing rule, you can uh, prioritize your actions and focus on what truly needs to be addressed rather than reacting to every issue like uh, a crazy person, you know? (laughs) So here we have uh, these beautiful five bullets. I would like also to make an example for you, a proper example, so you understand more and more. So let's say that you are new in the gym, right? So you are a new member. So after your 30 minutes workout at the gym, you can decide to add another 30 minutes, but just be aware you might end up skipping the gym the next day because you know it's your first time and you will be too much sore, probably. Or you can choose to relax in the lounge area. You probably are not sure about all the rules, very enough. But I mean, you can take certain types of actions in a way to be relaxed, you know. 
as much as there are no specific rules against that. So let's say you take the chair to relax. Do you feel a little bit hungry? Okay, very enough. You ate a granola bar from the machine and uh, an apple. You see the Wi-Fi for a member. Hmm? So, perfect. You just connect yourself to the world. Lastly, you pick up a fitness magazine from a table and uh, you read uh, the magazine. So overall, you have enjoyed your post-workout and rest by following the nothing rule. So think about it, guys. In the meantime, your muscles are growing because remember, muscle growth happens during rest. And uh, resting helps you recover and gives you more stamina for another workout the next day. So it's perfect. And this, guy. so I hope you like the episode. If you like it, uh, don't forget to drop a like and uh, see you in the next episode. Cheers. Wow, can you believe it? Here we are at the end of the episode. That's amazing. Thank you so much for sticking around, guys. If you enjoyed what you hear, I would really appreciate if you could take a moment to rate Journey to Success on your favorite podcast platform or on Podchaser. There is a link in the description. Your feedback means the world to me. Thanks again for tuning in and uh, I can't wait to catch you in the next episode. Cheers.